Hi, Ira Miller here with ERA Grizzard Real Estate, the uh, village's expert coming to you today from Stonecrest. Um, I did recently get a call from Jim and um, so Jim asked me if I would come over and look this home over for him. This is a uh, foreclosure and um, as you're going to see when we go inside, um, as most foreclosures are, it's pretty rough inside and I'll go ahead and give a narrative as to uh, what I think and how I feel about this particular home. Um, right Right now it's listed for $168,000. Um, it is a two bedroom, two bath with a swimming pool in the back. Very rough condition. Um, looks like it's got like a one car garage. So um, I think maybe that $168,000 will have to be looked at at some point. Uh, the roof doesn't look too bad. So that's a good thing. It is a 30 year architectural shingle. Um, this is a corner home site and I'll kind of go up and shoot the drone. Behind us uh, is the uh, water treatment center for Stonecrest. So um, we'll kind of uh, see that again with, uh, with the drone. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and we'll take a little tour around the outside and then we'll go ahead and go on inside and I'll let you know what I think. Um, so this home, just so you all are aware, what I do when somebody asks me to come out and take a video of a home, I'll put this home private. I'll go ahead and send it to the person who called me and asked me if I would go ahead and take a video of this home for them. And then they can let me know if it's something they're interested in. And if you're watching this video, it's probably not something they were interested in, or they may have taken a, um, or they may have done an offer on it or whatever, or a contract. But, um, if you're watching this video, chances are they passed on this home. And so we have now put it public for any of you all to look at and possibly call me and make an offer. Okay. So, um, again, it is a foreclosure and, um, vacant. There's no power on inside. So let's go ahead and head around the around the outside and then we'll go ahead and go on to the inside. All right, so uh, the sun is coming down. So in the back of this house, the back of the house faces west. Like I said, um, there's a fence in the back across the street and that is where the um, water treatment center is. These are the homes across the street. Nice homes. So we'll walk around the outside first. Uh, so the home does need painting. It is a wood framed home with stucco over it. I'm not a big fan of that. Water could get trapped up behind there. This is uh, uh, the um, cover that covers the uh, pool. So we really can't see um, the condition of the pool. Uh, what I not particularly fond of is there's not a, a large walkway around the outside of the pole. But I think uh, maybe with some work can make it halfway decent. A lot of screens missing, hanging down. But again, that's what you expect with a foreclosure property. Privacy hedge. I guess mainly for 
swimming in the pool. There is a wall back here. Um, there's an orange tree. That's what the this side of the house looks like. Uh, I, let me go look at the air conditioner. I didn't really notice the air conditioner when we came around. That's kind of an important part of all this. All right, so it is a Kenmore. And let's see if I can tell how old it is. Stand by. All right, so um, the tag on the air conditioner is all faded, so I couldn't really see how old it is. Maybe I can tell by the air handler inside the garage. But let's go ahead and take a tour inside. Here you have a little front porch. That's your view from the front porch. And this is what the home looks like inside. Give you a little closer look at what the tile looks like. You couldn't really tell from the pictures. Vaulted ceilings. We do have some settlement cracks. A drywall guy can fix that. You have one over here too. So these are your kitchen cabinets. When I came in, all the drawers were open. These are still open a little bit, but all the doors and drawers and everything was all open from the property manager of this um, foreclosed property. This is the uh, enclosed lanai. I would have liked to have seen some sliding glass doors here that went out to that swimming pool. So this is a two bedroom home. So the enclosed lanai is nice because it adds another room, which you could use as an office or a den. All right, so we already saw what the pool looked like. And uh, let's go around the other side of the house. So the kitchen is kind of open. I would think if you were going to buy this house and try to either live in it yourself or even flip it, you'd want to change those cabinets and um, countertops. All right, so here we have what I was looking for on the outside there, but let me see if I can't get um, my flashlight here on my cell phone. All right, the serial number. So this is a 2007 air conditioner. to see the washer and dryer in here, but that's a good perk if they work. All right, so 
This looks like the master bedroom. Same tile as the floor here. Closets on that wall. And the master bathroom. So you have a little walk-in closet here as well as those other closets. I guess this is a little linen closet area. All right, so let's go ahead and check out guest bathroom, linen closet, and second bedroom. They put a Murphy bed in here. I mean, I don't think you need a Murphy bed in a second bedroom. Maybe if you had a third bedroom or an office, Murphy beds work. Doesn't make a lot of sense though for a second bedroom. You usually need that second bedroom as a bedroom. All right, so. Pretty rough shape as I'm sure. I don't know if this video would even do it justice. But um, might make a good investment property for somebody. All right, so that'll be it for this video. And uh, again, this is a service I like to provide people. And we filmed the good with the bad. All right, I'll see you in a second. All right, so uh, we're gonna uh, do a little drone here. Let me bring the drone into uh, view for you. There you go, you can probably see that. And uh, we are filming right now from the drone. So we're gonna go ahead and we will back it up and go on up a little bit. There you go, give you a little shot of the home and then we're gonna go all the way up so you can see what it looks like from above. And you can also see that it's on a corner. Okay, let's slide it over a little bit and we will All right, so we're gonna go ahead and continue to go on up And I'll give you a a little bird's eye view from around this home. So actually, it does um, it does have a convenient location with the fact that at the top of your screen, this is um, going out of the neighborhood. Let me just go ahead and. Okay, so we're below. So that's the main road right there in the middle of the screen. Um, we'll keep going up and I'll show you where the north entrance looks is. So there's the north entrance at the top of the screen between the two lakes there. And then 441 is the main road that you see there in the middle of the screen. And as we swing around, okay, right there in the middle of the screen is the main entrance. Your recreation center is just below. And then that white roof that you see right there is Walmart. And then um, the villages is out there on the horizon. So you're pretty close to the villages area. All right, so let's go ahead and bring it back down. Um, just 
really windy up there. So we're having a little bit of control problem. I'm gonna go ahead and spin it around though. And then we can look down, and uh, there's the um, water treatment center I was telling you about. And that looks like at the rest of Stonecrest. And then we're right below. video all right Jim so I hope you enjoyed this video and also any of you all who might be watching this as well um, it is what I do as part of my uh, service to everybody out there um, hopefully um, you got a lot out of the video and uh, you may not particularly like the home but um, it is what it is um, possibly could be an investment for an investor to come in and fix up. Someone who can't afford um, a nicer home who might want to buy something lower and fix it up to their uh, specifications. But anyways, um, kind of leaves a lot, you know, to be able to uh, do with this home. So thank you again for watching. Um, if if you are watching this and it's something that you might be interested in, call me at 352-454-9561 or even email me at homesaroundthevillages at gmail.com. I'd be more than happy to respond to you that way or text me, whatever. Um, and uh, if you're a new subscriber or a new viewer, and you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. And also, uh, there's a little bell icon for notifications. Go ahead and hit that too, because each and every time I make a new video, you'll be notified um, as to the new video that I just put out there for you. Um, so hopefully all this content, all this video content and information I'm providing to all you all on my uh, YouTube channel there is helpful. And um, I look forward to making more for you. And feel free to make comments, uh, good or bad, doesn't matter to me, on this house and, um, and me in particular or what you think of this video. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.